So we got done looking at level one morality, according to Kohlberg, which, like the other uh, stage theories that we've been learning about, the, the level one, or the base level, is sort of where we start out. It's a little more immature. It's pre-conventional in this case. And so obedience and punishment, you know, that's what little kids are always obsessed with. They're a little bit self-centered, you might say. And now we're growing up. We're going into conventional. Conventional, which is uh, the types of moral reasoning that you're more likely to see in real life. It's the convention. This is what adults do instead of younger adolescents, whatever. So we're moving in to the third one. We have level one, one to third stage. And this is called, I'm going to call it conformity, because I don't have a whole lot of space. It's also interpersonal accord and conformity. But I like the word conformity because it just gets across the notion that you're just trying to fit in. You're just going for social norms. So if this guy was in level three conformity orientation, then it would really depend on what his family and his friends, his peer group, whatever, co-workers, whoever it is that he sees himself as being around a lot, uh, would think in this situation. If they say, oh, no, 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 you have to save your wife. There's no way that you can let her die. That would make you a bad person. You have to steal this money or steal the drugs at any cost. You, you're not, you won't be a good person if you don't save your wife. Then that's what he'll do, because he's trying to conform to their moral reasonings. Um, and if they're all level three, you know, who are they conforming to? But if, on the other hand, his family says, oh, no, no, you shouldn't, you shouldn't save your wife because you'd have to be a thief to do that. If you don't have, uh, if you don't have a, a legal, legitimate way to save her, then don't do it because you, that will be shameful and you'll be a thief and you'll be a bad person. We don't want you to do that. And then if he's on level three, he won't do it. He's just trying to uh, kind of appease everybody. He's trying to be seen as a good person, regardless of what he actually thinks he's doing. Level four, we have authority, also known as law and order. Authority. Trying to spell this right. And th this one's pretty simple. Law and order, um, you're really just trying to do what the authority says. You're just trying to follow the legal books to the letter. And so if you if you're able to look up your morality in a legal textbook um, or your local government office, then that's kind of convenient in a way. Um, but I think it's pretty simplistic. I don't I don't really know anybody that follows this in my life. Um, law and order morality. So you know what would this guy do if he was on level four? I, I don't really see a reason that he would steal these things. If stealing money is against the law, and if stealing drugs is against the law, then I don't think he's going to do it. Maybe he could rationalize it if, um, if he said, well, if I let her die, then that's, then that's manslaughter. Uh, he might even call it murder to just let his wife die of this thing when it's in his power to stop it. He might be able to rationalize it that way, but really, I think if he was just trying to follow the law and order to the letter, um, then he wouldn't have any reason to let her live. I have a, I have a hard time rationalizing that one.